behind Destro's desk. We got Tripwire. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Well, I've picked myself up and brushed myself off, and I'm ready to bring to you this unboxing and review for G.I. Joe Classified Tripwire. All right, guys, let's get to it. So we'll take a look at the box as usual to start off here. So as you can see, we have beautiful looking uh, plastic free packaging box here. As you can see, we've got Tripwire on the front there in action in his figure form. We've also got a little friend down there that uh, we'll see what he's all about. We got the uh, comic style art picture right here. Tripwire looking awesome. And up top, we've got all the accessories and gear that comes with this guy. And there's quite a bit, so it's going to take a bit to get through that. We got G.I. Joe, Tripwire, Apsara, and McLeod. And on the side, as usual, we have the QR code. He is number 78 in the series. And on the back, again, we will see everything that comes in the box. Great looking picture here of Tripwire. Standing at 6.2 inches. We've got a couple nice shots here. One of his helmet uh, sculpt there and some of his gear. And in the picture, we've got all the gear and accessories that come with him. So let's get this guy opened up and see what he's all about. All right, as I get Tripwire opened up here, you guys can have a look at the three and three quarter inch version from the G.I. Joe Real American Hero series toy line back from the 80s. And there's a shot of his file card. And I will get unboxed here, Tripwire. And we've got the very large locker case. And on here, Tripwire, Apsara and McLeod, mobile armored control lever for explosive ordnance disposal. He is again number 78 in the series. And we've got the GI Joe logo right there. And inside, there's quite a bit of stuff in this one. We got stuff, definitely got stuff. Let me get this opened up. Wow, look at Look at all the loot in that bag. All right, so guys, let's get into this. We got quite a bit of accessories here to go through. So first we'll take a look at the backpack and a nice looking backpack we got here. It's actually got some uh, paint apps on it. So we got a uh, gray, dark gray uh, molded plastic. We got this center cut piece here where I believe one of the uh, landmines fits in there. We got a uh, paint app here with a olive drab green. We've got uh, pockets molded into the backpack. We've got a spot right here on the side which something will clip into. I'm thinking and that's his, uh, his detector wand that he has. Um, up top, we have another uh, paint app. Um, looks like a screen on there. And there's also a, a peg right there for, I believe, the hose. So that is the backpack that comes with tripwire looks pretty good for helmets so we've got this helmet looks really good this one has uh this helmet is molded in a uh, light green color it's got a headset on there we've got a chin strap on there and we got a nice visor a good looking helmet so we'll see uh how that looks on him in a couple minutes we also have this helmet which when he's going in to check for bombs landmines and um just some overall extra protection for the face when he's walking into uh land mines and explosions that are uh, waiting to happen so good looking helmet same color paint um or molded in that same green color we got uh, some different parts on the back here we got a gray piece it's got a big visor on the front it covers uh pretty much all of his face chin and neck and it's got the black shield on the front there that will cut down any glare from any uh explosions to protect his eyes so a good looking mask there good looking helmet um so these pieces here these are uh, like uh go around his neck um these are pliable they're uh, molded in a in a dark gray no paint apps on there um so that's just more protection that goes around uh, the bottom um, of his neck so i'll show how that goes on in a minute and we also have another one that's uh just a bit smaller different levels of protection again molded in a uh, gray plastic it's pliable bendable so we have that one then we have this probably bomb proof uh, vest he's wearing one that he comes uh, in the box with he's got that style and he also comes with this one and they are interchangeable they have uh, holes and pegs on the sides and this is molded in that same gray, uh, dark gray it's got a few of that same green uh, paint apps on there to give it a little life so that looks good i'm glad they didn't leave it all one basic color so there's lots uh, molded into this different pieces on the back here different uh, pockets the whole front piece this piece here is the main part of protection for his whole upper torso so we'll get that on him 
We'll try that out uh, shortly. Then we've got the uh, McLeod mobile armor control lever for explosive ordnance disposal. So this is like a remote control um, vehicle. Uh, there's treads on there. This will uh, go along and this arm will be able to pick up landmines or bombs or anything that they need to any type of bomb or explosive that they need to move they'll move it with this and move it out of harm's way to a spot where they'll probably detonate it so it's no risk to anybody else so that's good i got a couple little lights on the front there a couple of little red paint apps so there's mcleod and then we have the landmine uh, detecting wand here something you normally see maybe somebody on a beach looking for uh, some coins or some metal metal detector so he'll go along with this trying to find any landmines anything that uh, might put any gi joe in jeopardy of exploding so that uh, his hand will fit on there and yeah he'll just wave that around the ground so we'll we'll take a closer look at that on him We've got two landmines uh, same type of thing we saw with uh, Firefly, except these have uh, silver dots in the middle instead of the red ones that we was, was with Firefly. The only uh, weird thing with this is that there's pegs on the bottom, which I don't think was a great idea. I don't think really necessarily this one of these had to go on the backpack, but but anyways, there's pegs on there to fit in the backpack. We can put that on there now just to have a look. So that just pegs in the back right there. There is no other spot for the other one. It'll just be left by itself. Uh, we've got a controller. So this would be the remote, uh, remote control for the for McLeod to uh, control it uh, going into areas to pick up those landmines or to uh, detonate bombs. So that's all controlled with this uh, handheld device right here. Um, all molded in uh, gray plastic. There's. Uh, it would have been nice if they put maybe a paint app on the front there of a screen or something or a few extra colors on here for the antennas or whatever, but they didn't. It's just a uh, plain um, flat gray color color so that's his controller he, the only weapon he comes with is this uh revolver just uh, again in that gray plastic there's some molded in uh texture on the handle so that looks good but uh, that's about it no other paint apps on there so that's his weapon of choice and last but not least we have apsara his bomb detecting rat that's his little buddy right there going in checking for landmines bombs, explosives, whatever that Cobra may have laid to take out some Joes. So this guy will go in there and sniff it out for sure. And one other piece I forgot to mention, we do have a hose. This will go from the uh, metal detecting wand there to his backpack. So we'll get that all set up in a minute right after we uh, take a closer look at Tripwire. All right, let's take a look at Tripwire. So a few pictures I saw of this guy, uh, I wasn't sure about the head sculpt. I didn't know if we had maybe another Falcon situation. Uh, just this, something seemed off, but uh, but in person, under the light, it, uh, it looks like it's a pretty good head sculpt. Uh, it's well done, I think. Eyes are uh, on point. Got some brown uh, eyebrows there. The lips are actually uh, pretty good for color. It's got a nice haircut in a... Uh light brown color of hair um but that that's his head sculpt looks uh, i think it looks pretty good and moving down we've got um so we got this this bomb proof vest that uh, covers his uh, upper body this is what he'd be wearing if he's uh going in uh, searching for for uh, bombs landmines whatever um lots of pockets on here all this piece here would all be major protection nothing uh nothing to be able to get through that it's like a vest it goes over him covers his whole body up off the upper part moving down we have more uh, protection on his thighs here and on his uh, right side we have a uh, a gun holster that is molded onto that so that's all attached and these these pieces are not on um, loose they i believe they are attached yeah so those don't move at all they're part of the leg he's got these uh, shoulder shoulder pieces here from again more protection cover them up with he's got uh this one's got a logo on the side like a military logo right there symbol nothing on the other side underneath all this he's got military uh style green color army fatigues on he's got uh, looks like large gray gloves i'm assuming these are all would all be attached and it's just one big uh, glove that goes up his arm um it's all the same color in that uh, gray plastic um, we got a little bit of a paint app a little darker shade of gray on the on the top of the hand there and uh, moving down we've got a set of boots on them I'm sure there's uh, lots of protection in the fronts of these boots there's a there's a plate over the uh, the top of the foot right here so it's all all heavy duty protection anything that uh, will make sure old tripwire when he goes into harm's way he will come out 
no problem so that's basically uh tripwire right there um good looking figure i think overall right out of the box so far just by handling it um everything seems to be pretty tight um we'll take a look at the articulation with this guy with all this equipment but uh but so far everything seems pretty good we'll look at the joints all right for articulation so for the head we have movements all the way around 360 there's not a whole lot of up and down um just a little bit probably just enough it um, does have that neck piece in there there is a slight bit of movement but uh, not a whole lot but and moving down so for shoulders so they did this kind of smart looks like they uh, so to get his arms fully extended they do go up no problem um, the way they did these shoulder plates there is uh, an open area right here so that it nicely when he lifts his arm up that'll just go over top of the uh the shoulder strap for his uh so his body armor so that looks really good the uh extends out well for that upper bicep cut there's a little bit of movement uh he's got the butterfly shoulders so there's uh, so the movement is pretty good there no problem with that with that plate on double pinless elbows which is nice to see so there's uh movement there is good not too loose not too tight so that's awesome wrists we got the standard wrist action up and down left and right same for both arms so everything uh seems to be good with the arms there that's uh, nice to see um for an ab crunch he's not going to be doing much of that um, with this body armor on it is just not going to allow him to to move like that it's uh, it's pretty stiff but that's the way it's made to be for legs the drop down hips seem to be uh fine they're not loose or anything like that they're uh, in there really well the thigh cut it, it moves fine there's no issue there even with this plate on there there's uh lots of movement that way so that's good and it's still kind of hidden by these uh by these thigh plates that looks really well done there for knees we got double pinless knee joints and they are fairly stiff so that's good i'm glad that they're a little bit stiffer same on both sides they are definitely uh definitely stiff so not gonna move it too much there we have the uh, the boot cut there so the boots uh move no problem left and right and for the feet for the bottom of the boots we got up and down movement we've got left and right we got lots of movement in the ankle area there so ankles are good so far i'm not seeing any issues with tripwires articulation which is uh, a great thing to see so no problems there so that's about it for uh for the figure i think um i think they've done really well with uh, tripwire um i have no issues with the figure at all so right out of the box um i'm quite impressed with this guy i wasn't sure i wasn't sure about this one i i didn't even know if i was even gonna get him but uh but i'm glad i did because this uh this is looking really good so let's get some of these accessories on them and uh, we'll see how that goes all right so first i'm going to put on some just some of the basic gear we'll put this helmet on them i want to see how this looks chin piece goes right there perfect fit visor fits right over the nose there's no movement once it's on there doesn't wobble around or anything so great looking helmet really like that that looks awesome on him and we'll get the uh let's we'll just put the backpack on him so there is a hole here in his uh the vest of the uh body armor there just line up the hole and it actually fits in there really well peg fits all the way in there's no gap in the back right there like we've seen on some other figures lately so that's great to see we have got his revolver we can put that in his hand just like so fits in his hand perfectly trigger finger fits in there no issues at all we've got a, uh, a hole in the end there for some blast effects some fire fire effects i think that's about it for the uh for his basic stuff there's um there's that psara Put him up there on his shoulder. So there's uh, Tripwire, just some of his basic accessories on there. But uh, now we'll we'll get them all armored up, ready to uh, take on some landmines and some bombs. All right, so let's uh, take off this body armor that he's got on here, and we'll get them all suited up for some uh, some bomb detecting. So this piece just easily comes off. It's just. Uh, there's just holes just some nice pegs there to fit in those holes no problem so that's the one he comes with in the box so we'll put this one on him here this one's adds more protection like i said these just you just got to push those pegs in the holes there it is a tight fit they fit in there no problem so that's his heavy duty armor on there like that fits on him perfectly and then he's got these neck um, this neck protection so there's a smaller one here that goes on like this just over his head and adds like a collar like that so it uh, sits around the back of his back of his neck like that so you can have that piece on with the heavy-duty helmet so that offers protection 
seamlessly all around him there so it looks really good or we can put on the heavy duty one so then he's got this giant one so this is like the ultimate protection for around his around his neck so that goes in there and then the helmet goes on so again as you can see he's got lots of protection around his head around his bottom of his neck there so basically it goes like that so we'll put that backpack back on them get the holes lined up which they do line up nicely and that that is probably the best backpack i have ever put on a figure it fits absolutely perfectly really well done there so then we'll get the uh his wand in his hand so that fits in there no problem sits nice and snug with his hand and that uh, piece that kind of just fits around his forearm there and then we just plug this right into the back of his backpack on that peg so there he is bomb detecting landmine detecting whatever you want to call it so he basically he'd be just going around like that waving that over the ground checking for landmines and he's also got apsara there so the old rat can sniff out some landmines and then if he's not uh, using this piece and if he's gonna if he's found what he's looking for and this will just fit into that piece on the backpack so that sits on there perfectly there's no issue there at all I like how that looks and we will get that remote control pad in his hand like that so he'd be controlling the cloud right here with this so this thing will be moving along and this arm will reach down like so we'll pick up a landmine pretending it's picked up that landmine like that and then we'll move it away out of harm's way and they'll probably go and detonate it somewhere else so so there it all is there are all the accessories that comes with tripwire so as you can see i think this guy looks awesome what an awesome figure. I can't say that enough. I'm really impressed with this one. I really was on the fence, even if I was even gonna get it, like I said before, but I am very happy I got this one because this is a solid, solid figure. So if you are uh, wondering if you should get old Tripwire or not, I would not hesitate. If you uh, if you can order them or uh, pick them up out in the wild, if you can find them, he's uh, definitely one to pick up. Don't skip out on this guy. Hasbro's got a good one right here. So like I said, guys, get out there, get Tripwire, add him to your collection because he's definitely one to have can't say that enough i'm in love with this figure so if you guys uh haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button i'd really appreciate it uh hit that like button if you like this video of tripwire and definitely hit that bell so you know when the next video is up and ready for you to watch and one other thing i wanted to say and as of this morning I am now at 400 subscribers to my channel and I am super happy, super pumped for that. My goal was 500, we got 100 to go. So like I said, please subscribe to my channel, really appreciate it. So guys, we'll put them, uh, we'll put Tripwire in a, in a couple spins here, some poses, and you guys can take a look. And until next time, yo Joe.